Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for future content. We're going to start the video today with a little look at Renfamous and what has happened over the past 10 or so hours. So, this is coming from one of my uh, followers, Knight of Embers. So a big shout out to you. Thank you very much for getting this to me. Again, I wouldn't have found this because I've been busy. And I actually want to saw Endgame and oh, greatest superhero flick ever. So jumping into this now. So Ren from us, she posted, Weeks ago, I politely requested a refund for my Kamehacon badge on the grounds that there wasn't a Predator in their guest lineup when I bought it. They denied my request and said they'd fight my charge dispute. Seems Wells Fargo agrees with me that surprise perv guest isn't okay. So she's even done a little, obviously a little Wells Fargo thing there and it shows, well, just a little investigation. But this is where one of the cool things happened now. Kamea Khan hit back publicly. Hey Renfamous, it seems your ticket was purchased after the renouncement was made. Our refund policy is clearly stated on our site and must be accepted prior to purchase. We'll be sure to share this post with our processing claims department. Brilliant. Then there you go, then another one between the two of them. Our mod made a mistake and posted from her time zone. However, the ticket was purchased after the announcement and she was trying to display the difference in time. And Renfamous came back trying, you know, oh, I'll win this. I posted a screen cap showing that I received my confirmation email at the same time you announced Vic's return. That means my, my purchase was made before you announced Vic's return. And uh, this is what was uh, really good then. Basically, Kamea Khan came back with a clap back and said, actually, no love. You're wrong. And it was... Our ticketing service shows a completely different delivery time and charge time. If you'd like to speak speak to a show rep, we can provide the actual confirmation time, IP tracking information, and credit processing times that we sent over to your bank. With all of this, it's just, you just gotta laugh. Mostly because she actually said... I think it was like a day or two before Vic was actually re-announced that she was like, I'm not going no matter what. But then, you know, because Vic's re-announcement, it was leaked for days, you know, at least several times in the coming days to when it was actually announced that he was to, to go again. So she's pretty much just played herself with this. And she's like, oh, no, they denied it. They're going to do this. It's like, well, no, they've gone back and told you. It's like, okay, you know, if you want to take him to court, go on for it, go for it. However, the biggest issue with this is the ticket sales post up to the second of when they were made, you know, and the terms of service actually did state as well, they're non-refundable and non-transferable. That's stated in there and you have to agree to that before you even buy them. So she knew exactly what she was doing. She knew exactly what she was doing. And, uh, well, so it's just really funny. She knew exactly what she was doing. Done it all. It's so funny. In the comment section, she is literally getting roasted. And she's still trying to go, oh, no, it's wrong. It's all wrong. Like, this one of the best ones here. From her herself. This is now. So, Renfamous goes back and says... <laughs> Where is it? I just gotta find it because I just found this so funny. I just couldn't stop laughing because it's like, whoa, you you're serious? It's like, all right, if you want to do that, you can do it. You realize you can't offer to sell someone an apple, take their money, deliver them an orange, and then say sorry, no refunds. It's on the website, right? Well, you read the terms and service. You agree to them. Or don't you read all the terms and service and just, oh, no, they won't do that. If I say refund, they have to give me my money back. No, it's wrong. It's their refund policy. And, you know, you're at their mercy. And if you used your bank card, that, you know, has less protection then than a credit card. Because on a credit card, at least you can get it back from the bank. But no, you have just gone out, you've played yourself, and you have made yourself look like a complete 
and utter stupidity of a woman. It's, I just think it's absolutely amazing. I got it. Mate. And <laughs> the way she's going around saying, oh, no, this is wrong. This is wrong. It's like, well, no, it says on the terms of service, you agree to it. That is it. But she's, again, she's being typical Renfamous. No, I'm screaming and shouting at the top of my voice. And that's it. I'm going to get what I want. I'm going to throw my toys out the pram. So with her throwing her toys out of her pram, and literally just saying, refund me. It's it's not going to happen. It's not going to work. She's not going to get her money back. And it wouldn't surprise me if we probably will get a tweet or a couple in the next couple of days or whatever. And she would be like, yeah, I got my money back. But again, she's just trying to save face. That is all she's going to try and do now. She will try and save face and that is it. And I can really see them. Everyone's just going to be like, we didn't give you your money back. You really that stupid? But yeah, you know, like I said, she's trying to save face, which is exactly what she's trying to do. And it's gonna be glorious because you're gonna get so many people basically saying, Nope, never done it, ain't give her money back, she's a liar, and this is it. And to be honest with you, the way it's actually gone on, it wouldn't actually surprise me if Kamea Khan come out again and say, Nope, we're not paying up, nope. She knew our terms of service. She knew all the rules, but she bought a ticket after Vic was announced, just so she can say a couple of weeks later, as she is, oh, I'm going to get a refund now, I want my money. But it's not going to happen, love. Don't be so stupid. It's, well, I, I'm saying that, but it's rent for missing it. She's always going to be stupid. She's going to just literally put her foot so far in her mouth one day, she's going to choke. That's exactly what's going to happen. She's going to step in it too much and something will happen. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see you lovely people soon.